Hey guys, this is Lynn. Thank you so much for joining me for another segment of Wiggles Wednesdays. Today we're going to continue our discussion where we discuss things that men have asked us and we're going to share with you guys candidly, openly, and honestly today on another segment of Wiggles Wednesdays. Today we are joined with Shemitria and Chelsea. They're going to lend their uh, opinions and we're going to have a nice little fun discussion tonight. Uh, talk to you guys in just a bit. We are here with Chelsea and Shemitria, and we're going to discuss these questions that I know you guys have been waiting to hear their responses to. So, uh, Chelsea, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Chelsea at Beyond Blessed 1808, H-Town native. I know that's right, H-Town native. Hi, Chelsea. Thank you so much for joining us today. Shemitria, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Hey, it's Shemitria. I'm originated from Houston as well. Um, I never have my Instagram stuff on there. I'm about to ask you how Chelsea. Every time, come on, I don't have it on there. But, um, I I could go to um, the on there. Okay, <laughs> 44 years old. Um, grown as hell and here to see what kind of advice and what kind of common minds we can come and discuss some of these top topics we have. So our last segment went very, very well. I was, I think, you know, as a, as a group, we had a good discussion. I think it went very well. Um, so I was very interested in, you know, hearing what you guys had to say about the rest of the questions that were asked. I had like about 30 questions that were sent to me um, to, to talk about and to discuss. Okay, so just starting off, I want to talk a little bit about um, knowing your worth, okay? Leo says that women often say, I know my worth, but do they know a man's worth? Do they truly understand a man's value? Who wants to take that question? Do y'all know a man's worth? I think a man uh, shows you their, their worth mm. by the things that they display and how they treat you and their their way to lead and you know if they put God first you know in your household and things like that I think they kind of teach you and show you how to value them. So what do you, what, what's your answer with, to that, uh, Chelsea? Do you think that um, we as women understand a man's value? I think women understands a man's value, but at the same time, women have to understand their value in order to be able to understand a man's value. And if you don't value yourself, how can you value someone else? I, I agree with that 100%. I don't know, my take on it is kind of like piggybacking on what both of y'all said is, a man shows you his value. He shows you his worth. But at the same time, if I don't recognize my worth, then I don't know what to look for in that other person. I don't know what to look for or what to value. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> I'm about to cut that out. I don't think I got the COVID. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> in a mask on TV. <laughs> okay. All right, so kind of lighting up a little bit, guys. One, one guy sent me a question. He said, why do women post old pics online and they don't look like they pics in person? <laughs> Sometimes I think women post those old pics because they are selfie. So, you know, they want to go back and, you know, reclaim the moment at a time being. And if it captures you at that old pic, then they figure it's going to capture you at this new one. At the new one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, uh, are you looking? I post the pics that they throw back pics. What about you? Yeah, but sometimes you want to relive it. I think sometimes you want to, you know, be able to touch back to when you looked a certain way, you know? I mean, that just gives you 
maybe a good feeling again, you know, and relive that that time frame of how fine you were versus, you know, you may have kind of got let yourself go a little bit or got a little older. So mm-hmm. I kind of want to touch back and get that feeling again. Well, baby, I, when I post my old pictures, people don't think it's me because I had the big red salad Jesse Raphael glasses. <laughs> um, so and I, I actually enjoy posting my old pictures and people be like, what? Who the fuck is that? And I be like, it's, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so I, I, mean, I post my recent pictures, but I'm happy where I'm at in my life. Like, physically, I don't know if it's because I've gotten older. I don't really care so much about what people think anymore. So I, I post pictures that that I like, and if they don't like them, shit, fuck y'all. Um, okay. Oh, uh, huh. Why do women, <laughs> when 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 a man asks you if you mad, why do you say okay you're not mad, and then later you really are, you find out that you really are mad. I rush Chelsea. I know you ready for this. <laughs> um, I, I think that because by the time we're at a certain level of madness, we feel feel like I already know. Don't ask me a question like that. At this point, you should already know why I'm mad. So you kind of get agitated at the fact that you're asking me. Mm-hmm. You should know this right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so when you do that, then you sometimes be like, oh, I ain't mad, I ain't mad. But then, you know, deep down, you're like, mm-hmm. uh-uh, I'll be mad right off the top. I can't hold all that in. I'm mad right off the top. Like, I ain't holding nothing in. But I think some women do be like, okay, I ain't mad, but they really are mad because some situations require you to take a moment to step back before you can approach that situation. Yes. You know, me, I just be mad off the top. I don't give a damn. I'm mad straight off the rip. But, mm-hmm. you know, some situations, some people, they have to take a moment to debrief, to come back. Okay, let me gather my thoughts because I know if I approach it now, it's going to be rough and wrong. But mm-hmm. me, I just felt I'm just straight raw and wrong. It's wrong, you wrong, and all that, and that's it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, it just depends on the situation. Like, if I'm real heated, angry, sometimes I have a tendency to cry, and I don't be, I don't want to cry. So I'll be like, if nothing's wrong, you know, just, you know, just so I don't have to, have to handle it or deal with it right then. But trust me, it's going to come back around because I'm not going to be able to hold hold on to it for, too, for, for so long. I have to like process it on my own sometimes. And then I come to you with, well, I'm upset about ABC, you know. So sometimes I, I, I say, okay, and I'm okay, and I'm really not. I'm lying, I'm, and I'm going to the kitchen throwing shit. I, I do that. But it's only because me throwing shit keeps me from ga- gauging your, gauging your eyes out with a fork. So let me just say, okay, and process it on my own. <laughs> And then, you know, I can come back later and I can talk to you and we can have a conversation when I'm not so upset or crying and ready to stab you, that kind of shit. So, uh, yeah. ooh, that's a good <clears throat> Is being married really that important to a woman? No, I don't think being married is that important to a woman more as a commitment. Mm. I think at this day and age, I think that women want a commitment. They want somebody who's going to be there for them, who's going to be a stable person in their life, somebody where they don't have to deal with the riffraff and the BS. Because once you get up our age, the tickets become very slim. So mm. I think right now it's just you want to commit it. You know, it's not so much as being married. A lot of people have been married, and a lot of marriages don't last as long as committed relationships. I know that's right. I know that's right. Shamisha, what do you think? Is being married really important to you or to women in general? It depends on what stage you are in life as a woman, the importance of it. Um, As you said, as we get older and we're more experienced, then, you know, commitment is more important. But at some point, if you're younger, you may want that whole idea and that fairy tale of what you always imagine marriage to be. That may be your goal in life is, you know, to have that status of being married, being a wife. So it just depends on where that woman is in her life at that stage. I kind of agree with both of you, especially thinking about like for me personally, I'd rather have somebody that's committed to me that's in my corner than to be able to say, that's my husband. Oh, that's my oh, I, I'm married now. Like I'd rather, and then you going around doing whatever, and I'm doing whatever, and it's all a facade. I'd rather have somebody that is a true companion that I can love and we be together. It's not a, a title is not 
that's significant to me. You know, I would like to be married. I'd like to have the kind of relationship where I can say, yeah, we make the kind of commitment to each other, but marriage at this stage in my life, I just don't think it's that significant as like Chelsea was saying, having a committed partner that you can share your life with. And I find that very interesting because a friend of mine posted, spoke that to me and I was like, hmm, I wonder how important is marriage to me? And it made me really think about it, especially in my conversations with my therapist. Yes, I do go to therapy because I, I need it. <laughs> you know, where what I want out of life right now at this stage, and I can't, I, honestly, I can't say that marriage is it. You know what I'm saying? That's not to be all end all to me. But to have a committed partner, a committed relationship, a friend, yeah, that's important to me. You know? Um, Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see how to back off because I start with Shimon Tria. Would you rather, and I know what both of y'all gonna say, <laughs> would you rather be in, in an unfulfilling relationship or patiently single? I know y'all answer, but I still wanna ask you. I prefer patient, patiently single because if that gives me a peace of mind at the end of the day, then I'm okay with that. I can't be in a relationship where I'm not at ease. I do all kinds of emotional roller coasters and unhappiness. It's not it's not worth it. The price of that isn't worth it. My peace of mind supersedes it all. So mm-hmm. totally patiently single. Hmm. Chelsea, what do you think? Unfulfilling relationship or patiently single? At this, at this point in my life, I would have to be patiently single. I'm not looking for unfulfilling because I need to be fulfilled in every aspect. Yeah. And I knew what y'all were going to answer that question because I'm just going to piggyback and say yes. Uh, <clears throat> what's this? Say half a man is better than no man at all? I, now. <laughs> oh. I don't agree with that. No. No, I don't agree with that. I, I'm not. <clears throat> why would I want to be in something that's not fulfilling? Like, what's the, what's the point of that? Like, especially if you look at, at, at us, we support ourselves, we take care of ourselves, we handle our business. <clears throat> and to be perfectly honest, for me personally, I'm not speaking for y'all, I don't really need a man, okay? I want one, that's the difference. Yeah, but there's so many women out there who are in these unfulfilling relationships just to say that they have a man or have a husband. And when you look back at it, you know, 10 years, 20 years down the line, and then you get to speaking to them and the whole time they've been unhappy, but they had that status quo because they became relationship goals. Mm. So do you think uh-huh. a lot of how we live now with yeah. everything being so visual and open and <clears throat> you sharing every aspect of your life, a lot of people tend to share the good stuff, okay? Do you think that that has a lot to do with this whole relationship goal stage where people want to show you, you know, the, the, the great side, but honestly, they've been getting their ass beat touched on this last time, the whole time. Do you think that has, that has, that has a lot to do with how our society has come to be in these past, what, 20 years? Yeah, because people, uh, I think, I think, all, I, think um, I agree with that. Also, I think a lot of people are superficial in their minds. And so I think that has a lot to do with it also. You know, in your mind, you're thinking that, you know, I'm showing up the next person because I'm in this, you know, I have this quote relationship. I got this husband, yada, yada, yada. But do you really have a relationship? Do you really have a husband? Or you just have one on paper and for for um, for visual aspects? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You want to say something to me, Were you going to say? No, I totally agree. A lot of it's for show. Well, a lot of it is. I believe a lot of it is. I don't don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to be on the internet. Hey, this me, my baby. This me, my baby. And we loving on each other. And hey, we went here, we did this. And, but, you know, he cheating on me. Or he, I'm sleeping on, sleeping with somebody else. Like, I would rather have a great connection, a fulfilling relationship with somebody that nobody knows about, then everybody knows about and and it be some bullshit. And I think a lot of times we, especially in our current society, it seems like everything is just for show and nothing is really about real true connection and really true, a real true, um, one-on-one thing with the other person. I, I, I Y'all may agree or disagree, but I kind of feel like what's going on lately is just not a whole lot of realness. 
you know. <clears throat> so no, it's not authentic at all. It's not authentic. And I and I and and running into me and dating, I, I mean I can't speak to y'all, but I'm single. I'm patiently single. I don't know, maybe maybe not so much patient. Not 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 that patient, but patient enough. I'm single and what I find out a lot of it a lot of what I'm in is stuff. Nothing genuine because they have so many things to from that so many women are willing to settle for just being not the only one but the favorite one. And I guess maybe I can't talk about who I was doing. I wasn't the only one. Okay. <clears throat> be quiet. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Do y'all, and that, let me, that piggybacks on my next question. Do y'all believe that there are still good men out there? I do. Yeah. I believe that there are still some good men out there who are good, wholesome, down, you know, good men. I do believe it. Now, where they at? I don't know, but I believe it's some out there. And right now, the way it's going, they may be at these protests burning down these buildings. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I believe that it's some out there. <laughs> they may be out there burning down some buildings in the name of racism. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe there are um, good men out there. I mean, the very slim amounts of them, but they're out there. It's, it's just very difficult. And like our pool of picking and choosing men, it's so, it's so small now. So it makes it even more difficult. But there's, there's a few of them lingering. I believe a few of them lingering. Um, do I think that they are still that there are still some good men out there? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, when we were in our twenties, the pool was this big, right? Now that we're, I, I'm thinking of myself in my late twenties. The pool just seemed to be getting smaller and smaller and smaller. <clears throat> and then when, what you got left in this pool, right? People may not even be able to get an erection no more. <laughs> he, he may have Bless some you. <laughs> he, he, he may, he may hey. have some women, he can't get it up. He might be unemployed. Like it should <laughs> Well, you gotta take your choice. You gotta do. You want unemployed or you want big dick? You gotta make your make up your decision. That's what I got to do. <laughs> you gotta decide. Do you want unemployed big dick or do you want a player with all love and the gray sweats and a wave brush? You gotta make your decision. <laughs> I don't. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I, I want. I want. I just want somebody that's for me. Like. Just want somebody that's for me. I ain't got to have a home. I just want somebody that's for me and not for everybody. I'm not into, into community D at all. 